Today I'm going to show you how to set up a dedicated Minecraft server. What you're going to need is a computer running Debian or Ubuntu server. And then what we're going to install over it is Casa OS. Casa OS is kind of like a front end that allows us to quickly and easily manage Docker containers. So right now I'm logged into my dedicated Dell Optiplex and I'm at the Casa OS website. I'm going to grab this command, switch back to my terminal, and I'm going to paste that command, run it, and Casa OS is going to start installing. Casa OS is really, really cool. allows you to quickly and easily install not only uh, the crafty container that we're going to use for our Minecraft server, but loads and loads of, of other containers are available for this. I've got another video that I'll link in the description below about Casa OS, but in this video we're going to use it just to set up a quick and easy Minecraft server. All right, Casa OS is installed up and running. We've got here our URL for our server. Let's see what it takes us to create our account. All right, look at this fresh install of Casa OS. I'm going to go into the App Store, I'll search for Crafty, this container here. Let's install it. And you'll see here, this is really, really important for your install. For the default account password, we're going to need to uh, go to the app data, config, and then default creds.txt once we're installed. And that's kind of a one time piece. And once we're installed and we've logged into our crafty container, we can change our administrator password. All right, crafty has installed. Let's give it a moment to launch. All right, we're in. All right, we need to find our password. We're going to open up the files app here within Casa OS. I'm going to go to app data. In our data folder, we've only got one application installed. It's crafty. Go to the config here, default credentials. Here is our default password. I'm going to highlight it between the parentheses or the quotes. I'm going to copy it. Let's go back to the crafty controller. Your default login is admin, paste our password. Log in. Look at this. We're here. We're in. We're going to quickly just update our password. Drop in a super secret password here. All right, updated my password. I now no longer need this default uh, credentials anymore. You can forget that. Just don't forget your old password. And go on over here. Create a new server. Really great. You can choose between Java, Bedrock. We're going to do a Java server today. Select Minecraft servers. Do we want a vanilla server, paper, fabric, folia, a forge, or purper? Let's go paper today. Change our version. I'm going to give this, uh, let's go three gigabytes of memory and let's run it. You can see we've got some stuff happening here. All right, let's fire this server up. Yes, we agree. I'll launch Minecraft here in the background. All right, our server is launching. And our address to find our server is obviously the same IP address as our crafty uh, container here. So that 192.168.0.144, your IP address will be different. Hit done. You can see here's our server. Let's hit play. Look, we're playing Minecraft. Woohoo! 
How awesome is that? What do we do next? Well, now we're running paper. So what we can do is um, we can add in plugins here. One really cool plugin that's going to work great for your dedicated server that eliminates the need to port forward is called uh, playit.gg. So to update and add things to our server, let's go ahead um, and we'll stop our server. Saving chunks, we should get kicked. Yep, we're kicked. Earlier today, just before, I went to playit.gg and downloaded the Minecraft jar file. We're going to upload it here into from files into the plugins folder. The crafty container here is really, really cool and it makes it legitimately so easy to manage your servers. All right, we've got our play.gg plugin installed. Let's go ahead and fire up this server again. And what we're going to do is we're going to create that tunnel. Play.gg is totally free. And what we're going to look for here is this claim code, right? So now you can see we've got it kind of scrolling up on our screen. Let's go there. I'm already logged into playit.gg. Uh, if you're not, it's going to ask you to generate an account or um, to log into your account already. So you can see here that we've uh, got a, a new request here. Yes, we want to continue forward with it. And let's call this Minecraft. Going to add it. Wait for it to do its thing here. All right, we're in. And this is the URL. This tunnel created the overall hyphen master dot join MC dot link. This is the URL that you would give your friends. How cool is that? With our server backup um, and your playit.gg address in your hand, um, you could send it over to any one of your friends. They hop right onto your Minecraft server and you can play right with them. So now you can see our server's back up and we're ready to play with all of our friends here. Crafty Controller is a really, really great container to leverage and use. Uh, really easy to maintain, migrate servers, and also back your servers up.